Dick Norris, no stranger to adversity, and the former Utah anchorman is a two-time cancer survivor. Dick beat lymphoma and prostate cancer back in the 80s and the 90s, but back in November, a chronic sore throat resulted in a trip to the doctor's office. Yes. 16 years after beating prostate cancer, Dick heard those fateful words once again, you have cancer. Tonight, after a courageous six-week battle to fight the disease, we sit down to talk about his fight, his life, and his inspiration for recovery. Very emotional, very emotional time. I, uh, I, didn't, I had no idea uh, the scope of the treatment, what it would be like, and the toll it would take on my body. And Veteran newsman Dick Norris on his latest bout with cancer. Squamous cell carcinoma settled in on me. Cancer of the throat, the coughing, the sore throat, the weight loss, uh, the burning sensation inside your body, my neck's new red, inability to swallow, swallow, tasting food, I can't taste anything. That's the worst. I mean, because I like to eat, I love to eat, and I think, and you see these, and I can smell it, but I can't taste it. Now, it, it did take its toll. Those first few weeks were very emotional, up and down, and uh, you know, anger. Uh, but then, you know, you get to the point where the good news increases the motivation to move ahead and, and you think, you know, I can take it and here I am. Yeah. He may be a little thinner, with a little less hair, but after six weeks of intensive cancer treatment at LDS Hospital, Dick Norris appears to be holding his own in the fight against throat cancer. When you first got the diagnosis, did you really feel like, do I want to go through this again? <laughs> uh, a lot of tears flowed. It was uh, there were times I thought, and I have to admit, uh, do I want to fight it again? And I said, yes, I do. I have to for Dane, for Deb, for myself. I still have some things I want to do. Uh, and so you know, but the, my wife and my son and other family members, our children, give me the motivation I needed to say, yeah, there's no question. You know, you have to move ahead. Here's our plan. I didn't like it. I was scared, but let's go. We'll take things uh, as they come. Got to got to keep up with Dane here first. <laughs> well, my dad's been there for me, and you know. Dane's health has been deteriorating in recent months, leading the Norrises to seek new treatments at medical centers in both Baltimore and Montreal. When the family learned of Dick's diagnosis, the trips back east had to be put on hold. When my parents told me I was a little depressed, I was kind of worried that he was going to leave me. How did you tell the news to, to him? When he... I just told him, and uh, he's, he's pretty understanding. He's amazing. He's, he's quite a guy, and he said, I understand that. I wish I could do more things to uh, help him, and he, I know he tries to help me. So we basically try to work that out with each other. And uh, I look at him and I, I realize how insignificant sometimes my problems might be in the overall. I, I, I see what he has to go through. I don't know what kind of a future he might have. That's why we're working on him. That's why we're trying to get through this so we can get back to just intensifying our effort with him. And I feel even good about that at this point, that uh, we will find have some answers for Dane, and I've got to be around for that. We're a lot closer. We ap appreciate our, our children have been amazing through this and we've gotten even closer to them. Facing a deadly disease, Dick says he's now focusing on the important things in life, family, friends, and fellow cancer patients. They're just out there waging the battle. And the other people with cancer, God love them, oh man. I see them every day and I, uh, I know what they're going through then. Do you feel like now that you're an inspiration for some of these people? I, I do, or, yeah, yeah. And uh, they tell me I was not anything that I want to let go to my head, but I'm just glad I can be there. If I, they need me, I know what it's like to have somebody who said, hey, you know, he took the time to stop and say hi and wish me well and move me along another step. People who have watched you down through the years and have rooted for you and supported for you, uh, do you have anything you want to say to them? Yeah, I can't thank the uh, viewers, fans, my, uh, my newscast over the years enough. They were great medicine. They are great medicine still. 
And, uh, you know, I ranked them right up there with prayer and whatever the doctors do, I really do. Because uh, that's the other thing that keeps you fighting, is those people out there cheering you on. I've had the greatest career ever. I, I really have. And it's been because of those people. Well, he's a fighter. Yes. And I think he's going to make it. Uh, he's got two treatments left next week. And we hope to be there when he rings that bell at LDS Hospital, signifying an end to his treatment and hopefully his journey towards remission. Now, if you'd like to send Dick some well wishes, go to the KUTV Facebook page, click on his photo. We'll make sure he gets all of your messages. And if you'd like to see the entire interview with Mark and Dick, you can go to KUTV.com. We will link you there to SaltTVNetwork.com. Yeah, and al although Dick would never ask, and he hasn't asked us, there is a fund that's been set up for the family to help with medical bills. You can go to any Chase Bank uh, and donate to the Dane Norris Fund, and uh, the uh, funds will get to the Norris family. So they have double the medical bills because they have all Dane's medical bills, which both he and Deb were working towards. Right, and, and Dane's bills are astronomical right. because he has brittle bone disease, uh, osteogenesis imperfecta, and uh, he has two active fractures right now that they can't treat because they can't get them to Baltimore because they're trying to get Dick through this first. So. It's a, it's a tough story, a but you know what? He is a fighter, and uh, the family's fighting. His friends are fighting for him. His viewers are fighting for him. And it sounds like he's fighting for himself, he too. Is. He he's, really wants to beat this. He, and, and he's doing great. Uh, the nurses at LDS said that 90% of the people that have what he has, he's doing better than most of them. Good. So we, we, we wish him the best tonight. Go for it, Dick. You're going to make it. We know it.